my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are, um, today's Friday here in California and uh, I'm working on, actually I'm preparing a spell um, for a client of mine and I figured I'd give you guys, um, I'll show you guys the process of it so you guys can do it for yourselves. I know that a lot of the times, um, you know, we have uh, money issues, money problems, uh, anything to do with just not having enough and you know sometimes even not being able to get a job whatever it may be um, I understand that not a lot of people have you know opportunities uh, to seek out help and to get professional help uh, you know get us uh, or come to us to get some type of work done or whatever so this is a very easy all the works I do are ritualized, but this is the process of how to do it. You guys are more than welcome to actually do it. I've had uh, people that I know um, and clients as well that have done this and have had amazing results. Um, again, like I said, this is actually uh, for a client of mine um, as we prepare for as we prepare for the new moon coming. Um, I like to you know, have everything prepared and then ritualize it on the new moon. Um, if you guys are definitely going through difficulties at the present time and you need money and you need it now, uh, this is a very good way to bring that abundance towards you. Um, you don't need the cycle of the moon. Um, again, if you want to get, you know, stronger results, then obviously doing it in, in the new moon or waxing, uh, waxing moon, which is growing moon, gives you extraordinary results. But again, like I said, I do understand that a lot of the times, um, you know, we need it now. So again, uh, you don't need a specific time to do this. You can do it anytime. The only days I would suggest for you guys to do it is Tuesday and Friday, or Friday, I should say. Um, so anyways, let's get to it. You're gonna need a glass container you're gonna need three candles. Of course, uh, it's optional if you guys choose two or three candles. I, you know, you guys know I work in three, so uh, three green candles are uh, pref preference, you know, preferably. Um, you're gonna need a magnets. Uh, again, like I said, uh, preferably for me to get uh, quicker, faster results. Obviously, um, you know, three magnets is what I'm gonna be using here, so. You're going to be needing coins. Um, obviously, these are you know client of mine's uh, coins, but um, again, don't be don't be stingy with your coins. Um, you know, the more the, the the more the merrier, pretty much. So just be mindful about that. Uh, you're going to need an orange, okay, an orange that you're going to be using. Um, you're going to be using the orange peel. Uh, you're going to need rice, okay? You're going to be needing rosemary. Uh, keep in mind, everything I do, um, whether it's uh, for spells, for money, abundance, love, whatever it is, I always, you know, use 100% um, natural ingredients. You know, the more natural, the better. Um, you don't need any specific oils. Of course, there's co concoctions that you can do or, or use with plants, again. Um, but you don't have to go to esoteric shops and, you know, get all these crazy oils and stuff. You know, back in the days, you know, witches used plants and we used what we had. Um, and it gives you the exact same results. Actually, it gives you stronger results because it's, you know, mother-based. It's nature-based. So, again, I highly encourage you guys to use as much as you know pure ingredients as possible anyways uh you're gonna be needing some honey and uh of course as always matches so anyways uh let me break it down to you guys you guys are going to be needing magnets preferably three magnets rice coins um you're going to be needing orange peel honey and rosemary okay and this is for abundance this is for you to call uh, money towards you, whether it's your business, whether it's your home, whatever it is, um, it's to get it, you know, quick. And again, preferably done on a Tuesday or Friday. 
Um, if you want extra ump, extra power in the spell, I do encourage you guys to do it in new moon or on uh, waxing moon, which is growing moon. But again, like I said, if it's, you know, if you need it now, you need it now. So again, preferably Tuesday or a Friday must be done. Okay. So anyways, let's get to it. Again, like I said, uh, this is going to be for a client of mine. So you guys can skip this part, but um, orange, orange always attracts uh, or pulls uh, towards you what it is that you're wanting or your petition. Um, so anyways, again, you guys can skip this, this step as you guys will be doing it for yourselves. <clears throat> Okay, so in the process of doing this, um, of doing this spell, what you're going to do with the three uh, candles is you're going to be putting them in a triangle, in a triangle uh, setting where you will be putting the jar at the center. Okay, let me move it more centered. Okay. So, let's get to this. You will be lighting the candles. You will be lighting the candles while you do this, while you put everything in the jar as it is energetically charged uh, the intention must be there must be present and the element of fire um, really gives it that trigger so again like i said um, i do want to mention for males if you're a guy or you know if you're a guy and you're trying to do this uh, when you light matches you always do it in an up way position so it's you know going going up if it's a female that's doing this you're gonna go down okay so again like I said you light the candles um, again like I said everything that I do is ritualized and my candles are consecrated already um, again for those of you guys that are doing this uh, for yourselves obviously you don't you don't need um, you don't need uh, the, the easiest way to consecrate uh, your candles is just to put your right or prominent hand on the candle um, and just put your energy in it and ask spirit um, to assist you in cleansing and in cleansing and charging this candle for your magical workings. I will be doing a video on how to do that or how to do it the right way or my how to do it how I do it I should say um, so anyways okay once the candles are lit so the first thing that goes in here okay the first thing that goes in the jar is going to be the magnets okay so you're gonna drop the magnets in there again uh, it's your choice if you want to do one two magnets uh, me preferably always you know three to the rice and you're going to fill up the jar or the glass with rice okay rice has very abundant qualities um it has been used throughout centuries for anything to do with prosperity abundance um you know fertility one of the reasons why one of the reasons why a lot of people, you know, when they get married and stuff, they, they use rice. Um, in case you didn't know, well, now you know. <laughs> do not um, do not pour the rice into the jar just from the bag. Um, use your, you know, use your hand to, use your hand to um, pour the rice. And the reason why you're doing this is because you are you know putting your energy into it um you're putting your basically your energy and the energy that you're trying to pull and attract towards you uh the closer you are to that which you touch uh, especially when it has to do with spell work it just becomes stronger okay don't 
don't worry if there is rice that's falling all over the place like um, how much rice you would put in the jar solely depends on yourself um, be abundant okay uh, again like I said don't be stingy with the coins you're gonna throw in there don't be stingy with the rice uh, it's all about intention okay and what you're trying to pull towards you obviously um, has to do with abundance you know prosperity so be prosperous in your in your giving or in your the way we want to be prosperous in our taking we must be prosperous in our giving as well so just note that and again like I said it is of ultimate you know the, the stronger the stronger your intention is the more you're visualizing or putting your energy towards abundance the stronger it becomes the spell becomes stronger it's all about faith you guys it's all about projection it's all about um you know being able to visualize uh that abundance coming in okay so once you're done with the rice once you're done with the rice as you can see i filled it up pretty good what you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting in the coins again like i said you can use all kind of um all kinds of dominations uh, well when it comes to the coins um you know depending on what part of the world you're in uh again like i said be mindful about it be don't be stingy i know some people say whoops i know some people say you know use seven coins use no right here we the more you use the better okay just know the better the return is going to be Again, like I said, all my works are ritualized. Um, we're just, you know, getting this done, getting ready for, getting ready for uh, the new moon coming. But sometimes people need to get it done like right away, you know. Everyone has different needs. Everyone has different responsibilities. So again you don't have to have a specific moon cycle but it is in fact uh very necessary for you to do this on a tuesday or a friday you guys okay so once the coins have been uh put in the jar as such okay you're gonna be putting in the orange peel all right again like i said um the more you come in contact with the uh, orange peel, pretty much with all the ingredients that you're using in here, um, you're putting your essence, you're putting your energy towards it. Orange uh, orange peel has been uh, known, you know, throughout many, many years, uh, the effects and the properties of abundance, of growth, of money and prosperity. So again, um, this is why it's so important to use orange peel, okay? And also, um, if you actually cut the orange peel with your nails, again, it becomes more strong. Um, it becomes more, you become more connected with the ingredients that you're using. So it should give you a quicker effect at a short uh, time, okay? So anyways, again, like I said, you're going to be putting all the orange peel in there. If you guys are interested in... Um, if you guys are interested in personalized uh, spell work, again, like I say, uh, contact my email on the description box below. Also, I will be putting the ingredients that you'll be needing on the description box and the prayer you're going to be needing. Now, in this spell, we're going to be working with a saint. Uh, he's one one of the uh, saints for abundance. Um, very, very known and recognized uh in the latin world again um if you know depending on what your belief system is or whatnot but again i do want to mention i've been getting a lot of emails of people asking like when i say 
uh, that a specific spell has to have, you know, a type of color in the candle, whatever. And I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys asking, well, is it okay if I use white, etc. No, you guys, no. Okay, the way I upload the videos and the way I give you, unless I say it doesn't matter, then it does matter, okay? To give the effect and to get the results, um, you have to have faith and you have to do it by the T, okay? The way I tell you to do it, that's exactly how it must be done, okay? No exceptions. Um, again, like I said, if you don't have certain ingredients, try the best you can to come up with them, find them, go to your you know, grocery store, whatever it may be. Um, but you have to, you know, like this, for example, orange peel, you have to put orange peel in this. If not, it's not going to give you the results you're wanting, you guys. So just be, again, like I said, mindful about that. And again, like I said, no, put all your energy towards it, put all your effort towards it. And I guarantee you guys are going to get results, like without a doubt. Um, everyone that I've given this, you know, these recommendations have had results uh, within a matter of either 10 days to 15 to 20 days. Uh, the longest would be 20 days for me personally. Again, like I said, if you guys are interested in personalized spell work, then that's a different story because, again, like I said, it is uh, ritualized. Everything is ritualized. But again, I am doing these uploads because clients of mine just have, you guys have been reaching out to me and telling me you're interested in specific type of rituals. So that's the reason why I'm doing this for you guys, okay? So anyways, let's move on. So right after the orange peel, okay, it's going to look something like this. So what you're going to do now is you're going to get the honey and you're going to pour the honey all over the rice, uh, the orange peel, the coins, all over, okay? And again, uh, be, be abundant when using the honey, okay? Honey is, again... Um, it's an attractor. It pulls towards you whatever it is that you're wanting. Uh, it has been used, again, like I said, throughout centuries. Honey is, you know, it's just exactly what it does to uh, um, the bees, you know. So, which is why it's one of the most uh, used ingredients when it comes to love and spell work. Because it brings to you that what you're wanting. Okay. Okay. So once the honey has been poured, it's going to look something like this. Very beautiful. It gives an amazing aroma, you guys. Okay, so once that is done, what we're gonna do is we're going to be getting a little, uh, rosemary. We're gonna be using rosemary. You guys can purchase it. Again, if you guys get it, you know, if you guys are out in the country, awesome. If not, you guys can get it um, at a grocery store, uh, it has to be fresh, cannot be dry, you guys, okay? So you're going to be putting it all over. Again, rosemary is a very abundant uh, plant. So... This is, you guys, the smell is so amazing. I wish you guys can smell it through through the video. <laughs> okay, so it's going to look like this, okay? Very uh, beautiful, very, just the aroma is amazing. Okay, and I only put one stem of, or not one stem, but um, one, you guys seen, I didn't put much of it. Uh, you guys can be, again, like I said, 
don't be <laughs> don't be stingy with the ingredients. You know, as a matter of fact, let me put a little bit more just so we can give them that extra. Okay. Okay, so once that is done, you're going to be saying a prayer, okay? And again, like I said, you guys, um, I will be putting in the description box below, I will be putting the ingredients and uh, the chant that you guys have, to, or the prayer that you guys have to do. So anyways, moving along, what you're gonna do is you're going to put both your hands in the jar or in the glass, and you're going to put all your energy towards it and you're going to say out loud money money come to me money money i call on name so it may be enough and never leave my sight because i will it so it shall be saint simon i salute you saint simon i call upon thee give me luck happiness and health but most money come come to me Always be with me like the good friend you are. Money, come, come, come to me. I need you to be by my sight. You will come from all sources. <clears throat> my true and friend, money, come, 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 St. Simon. Because you are powerful, so shall it be. Okay, you guys, and uh, like I said, put all your energy towards it. Once you have um, chanted that prayer out loud, uh, you're going to start to notice or feel in your hand, um, you know, warm or tingly sensation. Again, that's energy and... So once that is done, you're going to put it right in the center of the triangle of the candles. You're going to let the candles burn out. Once they're burned out, this is very important, you guys. Once the candles burn out, it's pretty much it's done. So what you're going to do from there is you're going to uh, put it away somewhere where no one can see it. Very, very important, you guys. Uh, you know, jealousy and envy is not a very good thing. And uh, it's very important to keep that very protected. You can have it uh, in the entrance of your business. You can have it in the entrance of your home. You can have it uh, wherever it is you do most business, whatever. Or it could just be in your bedroom where you sleep. Again, very, very important for you guys to keep that away from sight. So the best way of doing that is to actually um, either buy a cloth, uh, buy something you can wrap it around uh, and, you know, people will, you know, probably see it or whatever, but it's hidden from from sight. So what that means is they don't know what's in here. They don't know um, what it is or whatever. They can think it's, you know, I don't know, a vase or something. Um, but it is, again, like I said, I can't stress this enough. It's very important for you to keep this away from sight. Um, and again, um, you can leave it for a whole month. You can leave it for two whole months, three whole months, uh, three whole months the most. Um, and you'll start to see abundance come in. You'll start to see new opportunities for those of you guys that don't have a job and you you haven't had luck. You know, um, a lot of the times what we call abre caminos, uh, we do an abre camino and then we do this, uh, which is to bring money to you and abundance. Um, again, having uh, or needing an abre camino, again, it, it, it's a different a different type of work, um, spell work that must be done before this is done. But again, if you've been having just not enough, you know, uh, luck when it comes to interviews, when it comes to just getting hired, um, I highly encourage you guys to do this. If you guys do this with faith and another thing that is very important, um, I know that a lot of the times people, especially my last upload that I did of spell work, um, 
I was getting negativity, you know, and, and I don't care for it. I really don't. I mean, I take the good and I take the bad. That's just the type of person I am personally. But at the same time, um, this, this is spell work. I mean, it says on the video. So if you're not interested in it, if you're totally against it, whatever you're, whatever, like just click out. You don't have to watch my videos. Okay. This is just for people that want to be helped. Okay. Um, and again, I will be trying the best I can to upload new spell work videos that have to do with spells every Wednesday or Friday. Uh, I've just been chaotically busy lately, but again, like I said, um, so anyways, I hope you guys see results. I, I guarantee you if you do this with faith and devotion and also don't do it with fear, you guys. Um, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, money is bad or whatever. No, it's not. It's a necessity of life. Um, if you learn to see money in a positive way and understand that money in itself is not material, it's energy, then you start attracting more of it, okay? The more you fear it or the more you think, you know, money's bad or whatever, the universe is going to give to you whatever it is you're wanting. So if you're dispelling it or you're fearing it, then obviously you're going to have lack of. So just know that, um, again, if you do this with faith and, uh, you do the, that prayer specifically to St. Simon, I guarantee you that within 10 days, if not less, you're going to see results, immediate results. Okay. Comment, like, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. And if you guys are interested in spell work or any type of private readings, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Till then, I see you guys or I'll see you guys soon, okay? Light and love to all of you guys. Bye.